Could you describe the uh, two provisions uh, relating to APR repeal and uh, the rifle and shotgun zone? Uh, Mr. Chair and members, um, as part of the agreement, uh, it has been accepted the Senate language on the antler point restriction, which would be um, Senate section 24 in the side-by-side, -side, as well as two repealers from section 80 on the Senate side. And then on the shotgun zone, um, there was some compromise language um, that was prepared. Uh, we would get rid of the shotgun zone, but there would be a provision that counties within the old shotgun zone could adopt an ordinance to opt out. And then there's some transition language for the first year because they, normally they would need to do that by April 1, but because it's past April 1 for this particular year, there, there'd be an extension to, I believe, August. I don't have the language in front of me. It's not exactly available yet, but I believe that's what we decided. And Ms. Taylor, the lands bill that was adopted earlier, is that in the bill? Yes, all the provisions that were previously adopted would be included. And then there's a few others to match the spreadsheet and make some technical fixes as well. So in terms of the policy provisions, we would have the lands bill that was adopted by the conference committee, the policy provisions that were adopted by the conference committee, uh, language for the spreadsheet, and then uh, writer language for that. Um, is there anything else to highlight? Mr. Chair, uh, can I ask a question? Oh, uh, Representative Waswick. Thank you. Um, I just had a conversation with Representative Hewitt today, and I is is his provision that was part of the lands bill? Did that get figured out, or is that not in the bill? I just want to clarify that. Um, Ms. Taylor, that is the Rosemont provision. I believe that was the lands bill that we adopted. Could you confirm that? Yes, that, that is included. The committee had previously adopted that, so that's included. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I know that was just a house thing, so thank you. Um, Ms. Taylor, any uh, other uh, provisions? Uh, I will point out on the, um, the PCA at the Bronzefield account creation, uh, it was agreed to accept that. That was the $90,000. I think it shows up in the spreadsheet. There was some additional language added to what the House had brought in requiring a report. I think that would be new to the committee. Um, because of the spreadsheet, we brought in uh, Senate Section 78, which was the Red River of the North Adaptive Bus First Management Feasibility Assessment language. Uh, we did bring in the events promotion account um, statutory language, and then the lottery and lieu language, we changed that percentage that the house was carrying to 76 and added the language that putting the 1% to the tourism account. So that you'll see that in the conference committee report. I believe that would be the only new policy language that you'll see in the con conference committee report that hadn't been previously adopted along with the writers. <laughs> And then Ms. Taylor, I think uh, we had a, a rough fish report in, that had passed with an appropriation and then there was rider language to replace the appropriation. Yeah, you'll see uh, some additional rider language and there's no appropriation, but it just requires for uh, the next fiscal year that the DNR would um, have some increased management on rough fish and lays out a few activities for that. And these were provided to, by the DNR. I believe the Senate may be still on a bill. Is that correct? I'm not sure. I did just get a message from Mr. Stanley. They're having trouble logging in. I'm going to investigate here. Mr. Strohmeyer. I'm working on getting, getting them link, the link again.
I know we're working on it, Mr. Chair, but I'm seeing a number of messages from senators saying they still cannot get on our Zoom, which we have the right one now. Senator Weber is on. Senator Icorn is on. Do we have three senators on? Mr. Stanley, can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Chair, I can. Um, as uh, Mr. Strohmeyer is having uh, trying to get folks on, um, could you take the role when there is a motion as he is dealing with technical problems? I'm asking if you could do that. Um, I, you faded out there, Mr. Chair. Can you say that one more time? I'm asking if you could take the role uh, when we do the motion. Um, sure, I can do that. Just okay. We, uh, we do have a quorum, Senator Ingebrigtsen, uh, we have walked through, Ms. Taylor has walked through the provisions uh, that are the policy provisions. I'm uh, asking if you could make a motion to adopt the conference committee report. Mr. Chair, I would make such a motion to adopt the, uh, to adopt the uh, conference committee report. Members, do you have any questions? Representative Heinzman. Sorry, Mr. Chair. I, I'm just struggling a little bit as I, I don't seem to have a copy of the com conference committee report that we're adopting. And I've checked my email several times, um, just checking to see what our options are here. Uh, I think we're having the technical difficulties, uh, Representative Heinzman. Uh, Mr. Chair, I, I apologize. I just would really struggle yep. voting on it without having seen yes, it. Yes, I understand that. So Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Stanley, uh, has there been uh, any changes to the uh, uh, spreadsheet since we uh, had recommended the spreadsheet? No, I, no Mr. Chair. And we had had Ms. Taylor go through um, the changes. Okay. On the, pol on the policy side of it. So I guess we're waiting for the report. Unfortunately, Mr. Chair, I think we're a bit stuck having to see language, yeah. Well, Mr. Chair. Senator Ingebrigtsen. Mr. Chair, uh, in light of Mr. Stanley saying nothing has changed as well as Ms. Taylor, uh, uh, I would ask uh, Representative Heinzman if uh, if uh, that would be suffice for him or uh, or not. Um, Mr. Chair and Mr. Chair. Tim Heitzman. Yes, thank you. Uh, I, I struggle greatly and I, I would not be able to give a yes vote with, without seeing the language. Okay, Mr. Chair. Senator Ingebrigtsen. Uh, Mr. Stanley, uh, um, again, have you, you have reviewed the, uh, obviously I think you have, you and Ms. Taylor have reviewed the, uh, uh, the uh, bill in its, in its in approved form. Uh, has there been any changes at all that you can see or is it the same that we, uh, we adopted? Mr. Chair, there've been a few policy changes. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Stanley. Thank you, Mr. Chair. There have been a few changes um, to the policy that I believe Ms. Taylor went over. 
if the committee likes, I can quickly try to show you in the side by side what was adopted. And there's some separate pieces of paper I could put up on screen if that's helpful. It certainly will um, be with. So, members, uh, we will have uh, 16 minutes to pass this through both houses of the legislature. Um, it would be a shame. Without you. It would be, I'm. Representative Heinzman, I'm just stating the facts here. It would be a shame to lose the bill because of the technical challenges here. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chair. Stanley, Mr. Mr. Stanley, Chair. Representative Heinzman. Uh, Mr. Chair, just, just to be clear, oh, do we have any idea what the timeline is to, to possibly see this before we vote on it? I, I feel like I'm at a quite a disadvantage. Uh, we were, uh, Representative Heinzman, we were supposed to have it at 11.30, so. And it's 11.40, we've waited 12 minutes. Yeah. Mr. Chair, I think Heinzman. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I think there's plenty enough votes to move this on without my vote. So okay. I would encourage the committee to move forward. The clerk will take the roll. Mr. Chair, is that something you want me to do still? Yes. Yes, if you could. Okay, one second, please, Mr. Chair. All right. This is something I don't normally do, so bear with me, please. Chair Hansen. Aye. Chair Hansen, aye. Representative Wozlowick. Wozlowick, aye. Wazlowick, aye. Representative Morrison. Morrison, aye. Morrison, aye. Representative Lippert. Lippert, aye. Lippert, aye. Representative Heinzman. Heinzman, no. Heinzman, no. Chair Ingebrigtsen. Chair Ingebrigtsen, aye. Senator Tomasoni. Sorry, Chair Ingebrigtsen, aye. Senator Tomasoni. Senator Tomasoni, pass. Senator Icorn. Icorn, I. Icorn, I. Senator Weber. Weber, I. Weber, I. Senator Eakin. Three Senator votes. Eakin. Oh, Lord. I will pass him for now. Senator Tomasoni. Senator Eakin. Mr. Chair, there were seven ayes and one nay. With three votes on each side, the conference committee report is adopted. Members, uh, you will be receiving an uh, email to approve and provide your signature uh, in the near future. Uh, the conference committee is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>